Statistics. They're everywhere. Take, for example, the world of sports. Every basketball player has a free throw average and a field goal percentage. Your average football fan can quote the average yards per carry of their favorite running back or the completion average for their team's quarterback. Before you put your money down, you better know the odds for your horse. And if you're serious, you'll also know his average lap times. But you don't have to be a sports fan to run into statistics. What's your average electric or gas bill? If you use budget billing, you know what it is. Have you ever tracked the average number of miles you get out of a tank of gas? Mileage test results play a strong role for many of us when we select a car. Sure, statistics help us make predictions about ball games, horse races, and our budgets. But they do more than that. Statistics are a tool that will help us build quality into what we make and the services we perform. By now you've probably heard over and over again words like statistical process control, quality improvement, global competition, excellence, and making parts right the first time. With some simple applications of statistics, ongoing quality improvement will become a natural way of doing things. Statistics and statistical process control help us to guarantee quality and meet our customers' expectations. Using statistics is a part of your job, but statistics are not meant to replace the things you already do. They are an extension of what you are doing. They are a tool that will save you rework and boost your productivity. Some knowledge of statistical principles will give you the tools you need to understand or prevent many of the problems you may run into every day on the job. Statistics are like the lines and distances on a road map. They tell us when we're going in the right direction and when we're straying from the path. You don't have to be a mathematician to understand statistics. This training program will demonstrate how simple the subject can be and will give you a solid foundation for using statistical process control. Before you can apply statistics, you need to examine some principles. Principles that will make statistics easy to understand and use. These simple principles are the foundation of all statistical applications. The No Sweat Statistics Training Program will help you master those principles. It's divided into two modules. Module 1 examines three key concepts, variation, probability, and distribution. In the second module, you'll apply those concepts to statistical process control. This is an active training program. You won't just sit back and listen to me. You'll watch a short piece of videotape called a lesson and then apply what you have learned in class or individual exercises. You'll also be working in your participant's guide during this videotape. You'll need your participant's guide, a pen or pencil, and if possible, a calculator. Module 1 is divided into three lessons. Lesson 1, Variation and Probability. Lesson 2, Distribution. Lesson 3, The Normal Curve. This is Lesson 1, Variation and Probability. When you complete the videotape and exercises for this lesson, you will be able to define variation, identify the difference between natural variation and unnatural variation, define probability, describe the difference between expected occurrences and actual occurrences, no two things are ever exactly alike. Nothing is ever exactly and completely the same as anything else. If products were made the same over and over again, we wouldn't have to inspect parts or use statistics and statistical process control. But differences among products occur naturally. This is called variation. Some variation is easy to see, and this kind of variation is natural. It occurs all the time in nature and can be easily seen in this case. Some variation is not so easy to see. These parts also vary. Variation does not mean that something is wrong with the product. Most of the time it is natural and is to be expected. 
Differences in the sizes of these parts, for example, are typically caused by small variations in any or all of these factors involved with production. Material, equipment, the surrounding atmosphere, the physical and mental reactions of people. Factors that cause these small natural variations are called common causes. When conditions are stable, most of these differences or variations are small and are normal. We can expect them to happen. Sometimes, however, there will be unnatural difference. This unnatural difference is typically more important than natural variation. Variation that cannot be traced to common causes may be the result of an unusual cause. Because these unnatural causes can generally be identified, they are called assignable causes. If assignable causes can be controlled, the unnatural variation can be controlled. Pause the tape now to perform exercises one to three. When you return to the videotape, we'll resume lesson one, variation and probability.